بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جينس مايكو بكتيريا Objectives We should know the general characters of genus Mycobacteria Diseases caused by the pathogenic member including tuberculosis and leprosy Pathogenesis, diagnosis, prevention and treatment of these diseases General characters of genus Mycobacteria They are root-shaped obligate aerobic bacteria non-motile and non-spore forming they are fastidious that's mean required complex enriched media for their growth and isolation they are slow growing their doping time may reach up to 18 hours they have unusual liboid cell wall Confirming acid fast staining and resistance to chemical disinfectant. There are a large number of species. Many of them are saprophytes and some are pathogenic. And we are going to talk about some pathogenic members, including Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium pulvis, which cause tuberculosis in humans. Mycobacterium libri, which is a causative agent of leprosy. This other group of atypical mycobacteria causes diseases like tuberculosis like disease in immunocompromised patients. Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Mycobacterium pulvis, which are called tubercle bacilli. TB is abbreviation of tubercle bacilli. In tissue, tubercle bacilli are thin, straight rods measuring about 3 micrometers in diameter. They can be classified either gram positive or gram negative. Either require special technique for their staining. Because of their high lipid content in the cell wall, they not accept the ordinary gram stain easily. They require special stain where we use strong concentrated carbofoxin and intermittent heating. By intermittent heating we can dissolve the lipids and waxes present in cell wall and make pores in the cell wall where the strong concentrated dye is entered inside the cell. And once it is stained they are difficult to be decolorized with acid and alcohol and this is called acid fastness and this technique is called Zeal Nielsen stain where the microorganism appear as a pink rose surrounded by a blue background due to the use of a methylene blue counter stain Mycobacterium tuberculosis have unusual cell wall composition First, libel diffraction or cord factor. The virulent strains grow in a characteristic serpentine cord like pattern, whereas avirulent strains don't. Long chain fatty acids, called mycolic acid, and hence the name mycobacterium because it contains a mycolic acid and other waxes present in the cell wall they are responsible for strongly hydrophobic nature of the cell wall of the mycobacterium tuberculosis also they are responsible for the acid fast staining and slow growth this lipid rich cell wall makes the organism resistant to all chemical disinfectant and detergent known and also resistant to common antibacterial antibiotics. The other components of the cell wall protein fraction. 
This protein fraction is very, very important as it elicits delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction inside the body and can be used in spe specific tests for diagnosis of tuberculosis called tuberculin test. Polysaccharides, which is complexed with the mycolic acid responsible for the granuloma formation during the pathogenesis of the disease. Also, it contains the phospholipids that cause that cause cases necrosis during the pathogenesis. What are the variance factors? This is gonads produce no X toxin and have no endotoxins. The symptoms of this disease are not due to the invasiveness of the microorganism, but as we said, due to certain components that lead to elicit the severe immune response inside the body, which is called delayed hypersensitivity reaction. The tubercular bacilli stimulate the cell mediated immunity strongly which is protective major and, and localize the microorganism and retard its multiplication inside the body. But in the same time, delayed hypersensitivity reaction, which is harmful and exaggerated reaction of the immune response, this harmful exaggerated immune response related to the pathology of the disease. The balance between these two responses determines the pathology and the clinical response to the mycobacterial infection. Tuberculosis is a worldwide health problem, and it was reported by the WHO in 2013 that 95% of new cases is reported in the developing countries. In Egypt, tuberculosis is endemic. It's primarily human disease and highly communicable and transmitted by droplet. Mycobacterium pulvis can be transmitted to human from cow's milk, contaminated cow's milk. Poor conditions as malnutrition, exposure to cold, and crowdness are the predisposing factors. And so it's called poverty disease. Shortly, tuberculosis is primary infection in the lung. It's primary infection in the lung and can be disseminated to any other site after that in immunocompromised patients or untreated persons. Primary tuberculosis. The infection of an individual who hasn't been previously exposed or healthy individuals. The organism hence enter inside the body it is captured by the macrophage and begin to replicate inside the macrophage. The organism have characteristic here is the intracellular survival. And the cell mediated immunity is begin to set up. Most people heal without disease in the primary tuberculosis. In the primary uh, affection, most people heal without diseases. That means the lesion healed by fibrosis and calcification and forming foci called Jones foci or Jones complex. Primary infection occurs in the lung, but in case of the mycobacterium pulvis uh, through the milk, it can result in the intestinal tract. After that, reactivation or secondary tuberculosis is occurred by immunosuppression in old age people or even young people or reactivation or re-exposure to the mycobacterium tuberculosis again. Here one or more lung lesions 
lead to severe cavitation and caseation due to severe immune response against the microorganism. And if it involves the bronchial tree, it results in very dangerous condition called opium pulmonary tuberculosis, where the blood is present in the sputum containing the cases material which is expectorated during the spitting. If the organism reaches to the blood, it can be spread all over the body and cause infection to many parts of the body. In the CNS, it's called TB meningitis. In the intestine, as you said before, intestinal TB. Tuberculous meningitis and tuberculous osteomyelitis are important disseminated form as it appeared in these clinical photos. Immunity and hypersensitivity after recovery from the primary infection, resistance to the organism is acquired by the cell-mediated immunity. Humor immunity and formation of antibodies are also present, but have no role in resistance. Laboratory diagnosis. First, the specimen collection. According to the site of infection, in case of pulmonary TB, sputum samples. In case of TB meningitis, CSF. In case of bone TB, we take biopsy. The sputum sample have certain characters. It should be early morning or taking at the early morning. And so the organism is concentrated in the sputum. At least two sputum samples are obtained as the organism is shed in groups or in clusters. So one sputum sample can be deficient from the organism. So at least two sputum samples and even three sputum samples can be taken. The sample should be decontaminated and reconcentrated again by liquefaction first with in a style and system and decontamination to destroy all the unwanted bacteria by sodium hydroxide and in neutralize with buffer and finally concentration by centrifugation. Now the sample is ready for the following steps of diagnosis. Acid fast staining of this sample Zillness stain as appeared in the following photo. The bacilli appears as a pink rod against the blue background. This step is very important in diagnosis. The positive finding of even one bacillus is diagnostic and allows treatment without delay. At this positive result occur when 10,000 bacilli are present in one millisputum. So positive finding here is diagnostic. In the contrary, negative finding don't exclude tuberculosis. And we can repeat the examination even three times. And also it don't exclude the diagnosis. For rapid screening purpose, or a mean stain, which can be visualized by fluorescence microscope, can be used. Culture. It is a fastidious organism, required complex enriched media, containing egg for their growth. Lovenstein Janssen agar is a selective media for cultivation of mycobacterium tuberculosis as it contains complex nutritive materials and contains selective substance called malachite green. This selective substance inhibits the growth of all other unwanted normal flora present in the sample. The organism is slow growing and can 
take up to eight weeks for their growth. Other media is Dorset Egg Media, which is enriched media containing also egg for the growth of the mycobacterium. But it supports the growth of any other bacteria as it is enriched media. So it can't be used except if the specimen come from a non-contaminated area as in case of CSF or bone biopsy. Liquid bactic media is another media used for cultivation of mycobacterium tuberculosis. It contains a radioactive metabolite that can be detected in the form of radioactive carbon dioxide by the growth of the organism. The liquid media is preferable for isolation because the organism grows more rapidly, nearly within two weeks. A biochemical reaction called niacin test. This test is used to differentiate between mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium pulvis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis or mycobacterium from human origin produced niacin, which is given yellow color with specific indicator called cyanogen bromide and aniline. So if the test is positive and yellow color is indicated, this strain is from human origin. But if the test is negative, this is a bovine strain. And finally, the rapid identification test uh, using PCR or DNA probes. Super clean skin test or Mantox test. This test is used to detect the delayed hypersensitivity reactions by intradermal injection of five international units of super clean, which is consists of purified protein derivative of the microorganism in the forearm of the skin. Injection intradermally of the purified protein derivative and you are waiting for the result which is in duration and this erythema and reaction occurred within 48 hours from the injection this reaction is positive when the patient is or when it is positive patient or positive case of tuberculosis and it may give the reaction if the patient is if the person is vaccinated prevention and control eradication of infected animals by slaughtering better nutrition and avoid crowdness effective pasteurization of milk Vaccination of children under uh, during the first month of life by the PCG vaccine. Very, very important to know that TB is endemic in Egypt and the PCG vaccine, which is a Bacillus calmet vaccine, this is a living attenuated vaccine derived from a bovine TB. It is very important to know that the first vaccine taken in Egypt in the first month of life of the children. This vaccine can be obtained by cultivation of the organism under unfavorable condition for 250 times. This results in attenuation of the organism and so can be used in the vaccination. Treatment and resistance. Without treatment, a mortality rate is about 50%. But this, treat, but this treatment for this organism have a special character. First, multiple drug therapy, multiple drug therapy, and long duration. Multiple drug therapy to decrease the drug resistance, increase the efficacy, 
and to decrease the side effects of toxicity. Long duration therapy is recommended. as the organism present inside the caseous material and weak penetration of the drug to the organism because of high lipoid cellular content of this microorganism and also because of the intracellular living nature of the microorganism there are a group of drugs called first line drugs they are isomazide, ethampetol, rifampine, pyrazinamide, and streptomycin. These drugs are called first-line drugs. The second-line drugs can be used in replace to one of the first-line drugs because they are much more toxic, but in case of resistance, they are fluoroquinolones, canamycin, and cyclosamine. The treatment has to be continued for at least six months till repeated sputum cultures are negative. WHO recommended a direct observed therapy short course for treatment of TB. DOT is observation of its abbreviation of directly observed therapy short course this is standard therapy for active v active tb consists of six months regimen two months with isonazide rifampine and pyrazinamide and four months with isonazide and rifampine only ethambutol or streptomycin can be added when the drug resistance is observed Now, we are going to talk about Mycobacterium ripley, which is a causative agent of leprosy. The disease occurs worldwide, with most cases in the tropical areas of Asia and Africa. The organism here not grows in the laboratory, either on artificial media or even in cell culture. It can grow in the mouse food bed or in the armadillo. Humans are the natural hosts. The optimal temperature for growth is 30 degrees, which is lower than the body temperature. So it's preferable to grow on the skin and the superficial nerves. The clinical findings and pathogenesis there are two distinct forms of leprosy. First is a tuberculoid leprosy. Tuberculoid leprosy, as it appears in this clinical photo, it's characterized by hypopigmented macular skin lesion. Hypopigmented macular skin lesion affecting the superficial nerves and so a significant anesthesia and loss of sensation is occurred. In this tuberculosis leprosy, the cell-mediated immune response is very strong and limits the growth of the microorganism. And so, very few number of the bacilli are seen and can't be detected in the diagnosis easily. Granuloma are formed and the nerve affection is occurred and so loss of sensation. The tuberculosis, the lepromini, the Lepromine test is positive, which is a test similar to a tuberculin test. The second type is the lepromatous leprosy. Lepromatous leprosy is characterized by multiple nodular skin lesions occur, resulting in a typical lion face appearance. This is advanced lesion in case of untreated leprosy. In lepromatous leprosy, the cell mediated immune response is weak, and so 
A large number of the microorganisms can be detected in the skin and the mucous membrane. Loss of eye growth and destruction of the nasal septum resulting in the typical lion face. Here the lepromine skin test is negative as the cell mediated immune response and immunity is poor against the organism. So this test is give negative result. The mode of transmission of the leprosy is not confirmed, but in case infection is acquired by the prolonged contact with the patient with the prometheus leprosy, who discharge a large number of the organism in the nasal secretions and from the skin lesion, and its incubation period is very long. Laboratory diagnosis in lepromatous leprosy. The bacilli is present in large number and easily demonstrated by performing the acid fast staining from the sample taken from the skin lesion or nasal scraping. In case of tuberculoid leprosy, very few number of organisms and can be detected easily, but appearance of uh, typical granulomas is sufficient for diagnosis. Lepromine scan test, it is similar to tuberculin test, where the extract of mycobacterium lepri is injected intradermally and weighing for in duration that observed within 48 hours. This is due to cell mediated immune response against the organism. Treatment. Tapson is the drug of choice for treatment of post tuberculoid and lepromatous leprosy. Tapson can be used with rifampicin. And in lepromatous leprosy, a third agent called clofazimine is added. Treatment is given for at least two years or until the lesions are free from organisms. And finally, the prevention through isolation of all lepromatous patients. Chemoprophylaxis can be given for exposed children, which is Dapson. Thank you.